grand old partisan, celebrates more than 17 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I highlight Republican reverence for civil rights. October 26, 1921, Warren Harding addressed a large crowd in Democrat-controlled Birmingham, Alabama. As noted by observers, the courageous president, quote, declared that the Negro is entitled to full economic and political rights as an American citizen, and vigorously championed the black race, and made a braver, clearer utterance than Theodore Roosevelt ever dared to make, <clears throat> or than William Taft or William McKinley ever dreamed of. Seeking to improve race relations, Harding declared, quote, we have come here to pay tribute to the marvelous achievement of a brief half century to which this city and its industries stand as a monument. They testi testify to us how far the South has progressed in a single generation, the generation since slavery was abolished and the rule of free labor and unfettered industrial opportunity became the rule of all our great republic. There must be such education among the colored people as will enable them to develop their own leaders capable of understanding and sympathizing with such a differentiation between the races as I have suggested. Leaders who will inspire the race with proper ideals of race pride, of national pride, of an honorable destiny, and important participation in the universal effort for advancement of humanity as a whole. Partnership of the races in developing the highest aims of all of humanity there must be if humanity, not only here but everywhere, is to achieve the ends which we have set for it. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.